not heating. Pretty sure it's a package heat pump. It's at one of the flower shops I do the refrigeration uh, walk-in boxes for. Uh, it's either Carrier, it's either Carrier or Bryant. So let's get over there and take a look, and we'll see why this heat pump's not heating. So I always like to check the thermostat and then oh. see how the wiring is configured. You got no power down here. Yeah. That's obvious. Let me get this one pulled off the sub base. Okay, so we got mm -hmm. whites for either O or B, which we should end up being O. Mm -hmm. We got yellows compressor, greens fan, common, and 24 volts. Okay, cool. Okay. We'll go up to the yeah. roof and take a look. Yeah. All right, so we got the 50 HJQ005. Carrier. Okay, so I got the panel off here. So we know we got no voltage downstairs, so let's start at the beginning. We're a three-phase unit. So let's see what we get at the top here. I like to go leg to leg, so it's 209. 207. Okay, we can bring them down here. We can actually check our fuse. on there here we go you can see that fuse blew before in the past okay those are good let's go ahead and see what we get voltage wise here I felt like the fan kicked on, huh? Yeah, the indoor fan came on. All right, very good. So let's get into this. Team carrier. Our belt looks good. We got a 15 microfarad run cap. Close enough for government work. So that looks good. Filter section, we got the Johnson Control Economizer. good because we're going to be in the heating mode. Let me get this back together here. Okay, so I'm looking at this unit here and I got to find either find the duct smoke detector you can reset with the disconnect or um, I was looking also on here I got to check where am I at? Right here or comes up and it goes through circuit breaker that's on there which is which is this little guy right here which was not tripped and then from there it goes LSM limit switch manual reset that wasn't tripped and then it comes over here to the overload relay on the indoor fan motor would kill my 24 volts see that I gotta find this right here Okay, it wasn't that guy, that one's manual reset as well. So, okay, so I was hooking up the iConnect, um, and look, it dropped out the voltage, the 24 volts. So now I gotta find out why, and that's gonna be my main issue. So I'm going between common and, and uh, R, and I got zero. So let's go over to the transformer and see what we get here. And this is on the uh, on the low voltage. If I get my alligator clips to cooperate, I don't want it to. Come on, little guy. Okay, now it's clipped on. So let's see what we got for primary. Let's see if we're losing our primary voltage, which is black and yellow right here. It's 
So let me get two hands okay. on that. So I got the disconnect off right now. So while I was trying to check out the primary voltage, I bumped the wires and it kicked on. So I got a loose connection somewhere on the line voltage. That's what's happening here. Um, so I'm just going to go through everything real quick and, and check it out. I never did like the way um, the guys would run the wires on the carriers where you can come through the unit like this. But okay, it is what it is. Everybody does it. And the disconnect. Listen. I've got a loose connection right there. Hear that? So come down to the bottom zero volts let's take it up to the top here 208 and I'll go here and I'll push in on the top you can hear it click son of a gun the old loose disconnect action right there let me see if I can uh, straighten that out a little bit so the original call was it heats sometimes and it goes out and it and the screen goes blank and then it comes on. Yeah, it was in there at the top sluice. Sometimes you can, you know, see if you can get her to fit better. We can always get her. Oh yeah, you can see where it was arcing in there, so it's gonna be time. We'll probably get him a new disco. See that in there? It's making a crappy connection. Okay, yeah, things get old and worn out. Let's do this and we'll go set that thermostat and then we can check it in heating. I uh, I got the uh, the probes hooked up and the air probes for the ice connect. And we can take a look at this heat pump doing its business. Now that I found what the main problem was. All right, so I'm down here. There's the ladder. And that unit's way on the roof over there. And I know OC wanted me to get some range. So we're gonna come to the stores over here and we're gonna program that thermostat for heat and get it going. Then we'll be able to check it from downstairs in the store. And we'll take a look at that, see how it does. So we're on the ground. I think I'm in this one right here. We're sitting there static. Still gotta program the stat because it's calling for cooling of 99 degrees. We don't want that. But heat 72, so we're in the heat mode. And we're down here in the flower shop. And here we go, we're running. Heat pump. Just got started. So we shall let it run and then we'll check it. Okay, so let's see, we got this guy programmed a little better now for today. This is what we're doing right now. It's been running for about five, 10 minutes. And we're in the heating mode on our heat pump. I probably didn't configure the, the I should act right. supply air dry bulb for a heat pump 105 yeah smoking hot that's the basic overview so that's the range on it OC it seems to be really good I got this thing on my hip and uh, we're down here there's the bands out there yeah, it's a walk-in box so if you had to work on the condensing unit up top the refrigeration it would definitely be down here broadcasting either way. There's my numbers right now. Package unit. You guys getting the flowers ready for Valentine's Day? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be busy, right? Yeah. You gotta start now. Heck yeah. Also, I'm using the old iPad. You can see the connector. That's not the fire wire connector. That's the old school. And it's working flawlessly. Um, there's the unit over there. Um, you know, I'll talk about the iConnect for a minute. I'm just starting out with it. 
it's a totally different ball game than the smart probes as far as range goes and stuff there's the two condensing units for the walking boxes um i shied away from it because of the price i'm not gonna lie even though i've you know every tool you buy is is a tax deduction there's no reason not to buy tools unless you can't afford them you know save up for them don't buy them on time always pay as you go if you can that's what i say look at that for a little five tonner we're right in there there's no doubt that's a cool tool man really cool stuff i got one other cool tool i got to show you we'll get on this video also So we're in the heat mode, I got the FLIR going. Poke through here. Take this, I'm gonna take the side cover off so we can take a look at the reversing valve. There it is. Smart probies. I just killed my head pressure. Let's see if we can blast the liquid line over there. All right, so it looks like uh, looks like this guy's coming around, and she's going to be working. Our main problem was the disconnect. Went through a little troubleshooting with old Dave. Some more numbers you guys can check out. And, uh, there it is. <laughs> it's funny, I thought the wires were... Uh, I thought it was a loose wire connection and it was the disconnect, so... That's where we're at. We'll see about getting them a freshie. Once they get loose like that and get all funky, might as well get them a price for a new one. Otherwise, they'll just be going around in circles. That one's a cutler hammer. 30 amps, ring tight. Piece of cake. All right, she made it to set point and shut off, so not bad. Heat pumps. That's it for the heat pump that was, I guess the main call was it was heating and going out, heating and going out, and it was that disconnect. So it's pretty good.